Welcome back. Hand of Fate 2. Today we'll try our luck with death. We live in a shattered world. Death and despair are all that remains after the assassin has moved upon the Emperor. Mm. Yet this world merely reflects the world above. The heavens are in turmoil, and the game of life and death is chaired by a madman. Okay, we never encountered that one. Mm, let's try the truthful woodcutter. Mm. If you want the old maiden, then we need if that's cottage, which is where. Really, where is it? Oh, oh no, we don't need if it's cottage. We need to the to start with the youth potion. Let's go with the in by the sea, goblin down. The armor is fine, it's always that nice. Card is one of your favorites. It's nice. The appeal. Well, it gives you a couple, an amount of both. Mm. Maybe go Goblin Retainer and no Mission Exchange. Yeah, let's go for the Goblin. And for the equipment, let's take those for sure. Uh, we'll be against um, bandits, so n definitely not a holy maze. Mm. No, bandits, remember. Need something fast. Wait, uh. Lion Heart. We don't have. Potion of Youth. Okay, so I definitely need if it's coated. Where is it? I know we have a lot of cards. Where the hell is this one? Yeah, but I will full of you, so. <sighs> you go back and I'll do this. And back in we go. <laughs> Let's take Berserker's Creed. Mm. <laughs> Gambler's sounds nice. Uh, Gambler's Jewel. There's Companion. Okay, I'll take it. Mm, we have an armor. Take Pillager's Pride. Mm, no. Okay, Winter's. Oh. I think I want that one. Can okay, we press between. Well, if it's 30 Northerners, we don't need it. This one. If it's 25 Goblins. I'll take this because it has a high damage. I don't know what to take! Okay, I'll take the Holy Maze. I'll try the Intriguing Sword and over it. Valiant Ages. Leather Armor. I'll take those, even though I hate them with my whole with all my heart mm, that's it for many the card of death represents change rather than mortality for you we will see well it can mean change in Do you hear them your life the whisper upon the winds hey. dark forces ride forth to stop you a filthy street archin approaches you in a busy town market to ask, You're the one who brought the maid and broke the right the, the leader of the north, aren't you? 
I heard some bad men talking about you. Give us a bit of bread. I will let you on. You know, I'll let you in on a secret. She smiles with her few remaining teeth and stretches out her hands. You hand over a scrap of bread, which she quickly shoves into her mouth. Moments later, she gulps and smiles again. Well, you prompt her. Oh, I heard that someone's offered a lot of gold to have you killed. She remarks while picking her teeth. Now the whole guild wants it uh, wants in on, the, on it. Every thief from here to the Emperor's Edge will be after you. They even sent for some fancy assassin. THE fancy assassin. The one they called the Reaper. Guess he's pretty good at his job, eh? The bad buddy, he seemed nice, the girl remarks, patting your hand. Maybe we'll find a way to survive, but I doubt it. The girl, the girl leaves you to ponder your fate alone. Survive to Reaper 130 max life. Surprise Reaper 170 max life. Death comes closer and closer. Can you hear it? Nope. With the threat of ass assassination looming like a dark cloud, you'll seek solace in a remote inn known as the Fa Flailing Dragon. Few patrons visit this night and you fall into conversation with the innkeeper. Over a few ales, you reveal to him your current predicament. The innkeeper sighs, I'm afraid there, was, there is little I can do other than heal you up wherever you visit. Hmm, ask a little I've heard of this assassin. Even kings once feared him, though few could afford his services. If he haunts you, then you are in dire peril indeed. Who now would possess the gold necessary to commit him, command him? Unless it is the Emperor himself. <laughs> oh, your past? I was a great magician once, working for the king himself. The man exclaims, gazing into the fireplace wistfully. Of course, that was before the Empire. These days you can get hung for casting anything more than a simple healing spell. Even that, in the wrong places. Okay, but we'll leave for now. Because I want to see this whole place. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we know about this. Games Thank you. Within games within games. Yeah, sure. Though. Your supplies are running low. We'll go after thieves. Thieves, not bandits, goddammit. Mm. I could get in a little shop if anyone finds out I took it from the wall. Well, we do have this. Well, it does eight. Do we know? Okay, I'll take it. Consider your actions carefully if you would be worthy. Yeah. Assassins. I'd hate everything they stood for if it wasn't for their occasional We're post-25 thieves. Okay. A pair of shady characters emerge from the shadows to block your path. The Empire is offering a pretty price for your head, adventurer. One of the men never marks while casually inspecting his bait. Nothing personal, the other adds as they advance towards you. Death should come easily to one such as her. You mean the hunter? No, I don't remember what she is. Really. What do you do? I may be old, but there's still enough life. Nice. To pick you end to end. Oh. oh god. I really I can't get the right timing on the blades. I don't know why they just f don't. The blades don't feel as fluent as other weapons. Fame alone has got you here. Let action carry you forward. Well, we are closer than the Billy Clubs unlock, so. You can't avoid your fate forever. Woman gasps as he falls. Spend a little time searching the phone before leaving discreetly. Give me some food. God damn it. Let's see. Oh, increase the video. Ooh. 
Welcoming the High Priestess with this item and 12 blessings. Okay. Roll twos and fives. At the start of each map, optionally bet 10 gold that you will end the level on full life. Winning draws a gold gain card. Give me that. For those who Thank wager you. and those who win. Leave. Well, actually, no, can we? Nope. I messed that up. Could have sold something. I'm hoping this process will teach you something. Something about how the game is crafted and how the rules abide. Perhaps something about sleeping gently while deadly assassins are on your tail, too. Looking to avoid trouble with the local gang of thieves, you duck into an abandoned warehouse. Creeping among the broken crates and smashed furniture, you suddenly sense movement above you. An enormous spider descends from a silken thread, you flee the building. Okay. What a shame. When all the magic has left the world, <laughs> goblins will still persist. Nice. Visit the gold mountain. Come on. Oh, we've done that. Oh, this card is so nice. Oh, explore. Oh, god damn it. Nope. I think it's this one. The cover is so vast that it's impossible to go to the height of the city's great stone ceiling. Going around the spirals down the street, knocking you into a goblin portal. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Hello. Oh, for god damn it. This one? Thank you. You're surprised and relieved to see the sisters with you at the door of full-grown adults. Thank you for your assistance the other day. As promised, here is the citrine vial. It's already filled. I've already filled it from the waterfall. Okay, now we need to find the old... Uh, thank you for food. The old maiden. I will visit the store. Mm, let's see. What's that? And I'm um, optionally not the result onto the next card. How much? It's only 20. Every first step doesn't consume food. What's that? Leave it 25 goblins. God damn it. I will take this one. Every game comes and down spice to food, maybe. An edge. Let's buy 10 food. Because we can. <laughs> And leave. Every choice leads us down new paths. I'll join you, rebellion child, says Ketura, leading you briskly through the slanted back alleys of Iron Peak, provided you aid me in hunting Achilles. You'll need a firearm. We're putting down a monster, not engaging some contest of chivalry. The scent of gunpowder, leather and grease assaults your nose as you enter Iron Peak Ballistics. The proprietor, Philian, has filled the workshop with trophies from her monster hunting days. A staff minotaur stares glassily out the front window. On the counter, a polished turtle shell holds fresh flowers, and everywhere resting on shelves and hanging from display racks are the firearms that have made Finlian a wealthy woman in her twilight years. A harmless little woman looks up from the counter, her expression warming at the sight of Ketura. Ked, so this is your new char charge? What happened to the other one? Ketura ignores her pouring. I'm here for the pistol, Philian. Philian nods and reaches under the scuffled counter. She smiles as she plays a flintlock pistol on the countertop. Kitula picks it up and aims down the barrel. This will do. God damn it! Kitula watches with impatience begin to haggle. Philian looks amused. Oh, god damn it. Well, we can We roll. Oh, god damn it! The gunsmith shakes her head and chuckles. Certainly not. You wouldn't put this old woman out of business, would you? <sighs> you leave, vowing to return with the necessary coin. Can we return? Yes, we can, sure. Great. Once again, 
to the tavern. Leave the tavern. Once again to await your fates. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. And this day, we can make the proper exchange. They wanted weapons fit for them for themselves. And wait, okay. For a second there I forgot how to dodge, but never mind. Come on, kill him, kill him, thank you. Yeah, if I <laughs> kill them. And they can jump onto me. The butter gnome picks himself up uh, from the battlefield and approach you cautiously. Yep, I will give you something. I'll give you my brigand's plates. Yeah, well. You surrender equipment to the gnome, satisfied they offer payment in return. Please, thank you. We can get back for the firearm. Toothless gnome and his brother turned the daggers over in their hands and nod approvingly before disappearing into the bushes, dragging the blades behind them. As the gnomes retreat into the forest, they offer a dire warning. Goblins are on the march, human. They haunt us. Whether for good food or sport, we know not. Beware. Beware the gibbering horde. Nicely done. Okay, Tura. Give me that firearm. Yep. Pay. <laughs> the gunsmith gives the pistol a final push before handing it to you. Violent. <gasps> Noisy. Nice. Yes. Effective. Oh, it has three uses. Wait. Aim and shot through multiple enemies when activated. Shot causes 12 20 damage. Mm -hmm. Item restore charges after combat. Okay, thank you. Some restless skeletons have taken a look loitering behind the shop. Old enemies, former lovers, I'm not sure, but they're good target practice. Clear them out and there will be some coin in need for you. She leads you to the back door with your new weapon like a grandmother leading a child on a surprise trip to the markets. The poor doomed skeletons rattle defiantly in your presence. Oh god damn it and I have They don't have Okay wait how do you how do we use Good up counts as a killed. Just you know, we we made him fall, <laughs> but he got up just like skeletons do. So we'll see. You return from blasting skeletons to catch the two old friends deep in conversation. How can you be sure it's him, Cat? Fielding asks. Upon your arrival, the exchange holds and the gunsmith turns to you with a smile. It's good fun, isn't it? Here, your reward. See the sparkle in the eyes, Cat? Flynn says her old partner. This one lives for the hunt, like we once did. Ketura begins to carefully pack her new bullets into her haversack. Her hands tremble. 
from age or nerves you cannot tell, but with a violent jerk a bundle of parchment spills from the bag, bounty sheets, dozens of them, scatter onto the floor. You bend down to help gather them up. Filion frowns at the vast spread of bounties, thieves and defected Empire soldiers and strange beasts. Kit? Kitra ignores her. This will not bring Tamar back, Kit. This Aculus, are you sure it's him? Kitra snatches the rest of the bounty sheets from Filion's hands. She struggles to her feet and leaves without a second glance. Filion sighs, the aged gunsmith clasps your shoulder before slowly returning to her tasks. Hey, this is the first companion encounter with uh, actually <laughs> uh, actually advanced. Okay, bet. You return to Erdral from the Lumberjack and into negotiation. Huggle. I will huggle. I can't get that kind of rolls Victory. every time. You are learning. Okay, so the amount I roll lowers the price. Come on. Zero. It's not enough. Okay. And we need 19. No, no, we need a lot more than 19. Okay, that's better. How much? Uh, still 20. We need 20. Come on. Okay, this means we're rolling everything. 15, nice. We need... come on! It's impossible! <laughs> yeah, we roll it, but it's, it is impossible. Yep, leave. Six. We need only six. Put a big enough price on a man's head, and you'll find every weevil crawls out of the woodwork in order to claim it. Well, what can I do? What can I say? Will I kill them? And maybe we'll get. Oh, I forgot to shake the pistol. Um, Katara, would you out mind? Of my way. Nope. I don't know how much health they have. So just to be safe. Okay, that was more than 20. Oh, that didn't miss. Oh, really? That was something unnecessary. That didn't. No, I don't want to kill. Man, no, he won't do that. Good job. Oh, thank you. That makes it. That should make it five. Actually, my learn how to use blades after 50 or so hours while playing this game. I might, I might learn how to use blades. You can't avoid your fate forever. Oh, god damn it! Give me actually, give me an armor, please. Give me that. One. It's always nice, but we need to get our health up. Yeah, okay, so it works like this. 
Need to kill seven of them with finisher. A storm and troubles in the north. So it begins. You enter a tavern as a storm lights up the night sky. The bar is packed with fellow travelers seeking a respite from the weather. As you make yourself comfortable in a relatively dry corner, a band of northern raiders kick in the doors. Prepare your souls for cleansing, godless hiddens. Okay, and right now I'm glad I took those. Wait, is this goblins? This for goblins? And oh, I didn't take the. About this, no, that was you perform charge bash, right? Right, right, right. I'm trying to do that. There's just so many things to keep track of. Do you think? Time to die. Oh my god. Really? Just wanted to kill. Oh, one more. Okay. I'm really trying just. No, it's mine. Thank you. I'll lose my wager. I definitely, I'll definitely lose my wager if we don't find the maiden. Well, oh, actually, the innkeeper told, told us he can heal us. Yeah, so we can get it that way. We can, <laughs> we can win the wager. The northerners retreat into the storm. The innkeeper serves a round of drinks in your hollow. Here, and also relive this with me before we're renouncing his adventuring for good. I want you to have it. Oh, it's for the high process, right? Uh, he's in combat. Yeah, I've made that. Thank you. That's nice. Can you claim this token? I don't know. The libraries hold little knowledge of the mysterious north. Past the colossal height of mountain Freydis, there are only theories, ancient creatures, haunted weird woods, and rumors of a powerful sword trapped in a frozen lake at the end of the world. Only one who would journey deep into the unknown would be worthy of the blade, it is said. There is a rough path that hugs mountain Freydis, curving around it and heading north. Somebody has made an effort to pave it. A hungry, desperate farmer offers passage for bread. She claims that she knows the road ahead. Okay. It is a quiet journey. You take courage as far as it will go. Continue down this path, it will take you north. The farmer tips her hat before departing. Be careful out there. You head into the frozen thicket. A wooden temple, blanketed in snow, breaks through the fog. An old northerner burning pe Pungent grasses in a copper basin lifts his hand in greeting. Pilgrims, the moon path of the world woods is haunted. Although it is faster, you should take the safer long route of the sun path. Uh, okay, thank you. We'll continue. Just as the priest had said, a stone etched with the sun and another etched with a moon signal the path fitting into the sun path. I don't remember what he said. As the sun rises, you leave the forest behind and step into a vast plain of smooth ice. Nothing but flat, flat ice stretches on for eternity. We're not gonna make it. Yeah, sure. Now, we need to roll those into sixes, so... Okay, 
Your time in the forest is but a distant memory. The ice waste now stretch in on a very direction, every direction. You carve an arrow into the ice that each night does not forget where the north is. Okay, no, we're not gonna make it. Right now it's impossible, so we're gonna abandon our quest. We don't have enough food to do that. Death comes for all of us in time, but some live to defeat it. The ink burrows up as you enter. Ah, my favorite adventure and still life, I see. He goes on to relate the worrying news that his tavern has come to Reaper's attention. My sources say he will arrive here sometime tomorrow. It seems your destiny is at hand. Leave the tavern. Nope, I'm not ready yet. It seems oh, everybody wants you dead. From the high to the low. You don't say. How many? Seven. How many? A lot. <laughs> well, we will die. Just like that. Nope. Nope. God damn it. No, 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 I want Nope. I think one more. God damn it. Uh, wait, I forgot how to use it. God damn it. Really? Oh, <laughs> Oh god, and I didn't use it, really? Thank you. Well, we're gonna die anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. I don't have anything. Right, we have the gambler's jewel. Now we get the gambler's jewel. God damn it! Here's an order that most damage me. Just me. Oh, thank you. No, I want to leave. Give her the potion of youth. Yep, give it to her. She pours the entire contents of the vial into her mouth. That's not gonna end well, does it? Oh, within moments, the potion takes effect. The old woman transforms into a youthful maiden. I think I thank you for your generosity, mortal. Now I may continue helping your kind for centuries more. Please take my offering. Ah, oh, their days came and went. The world has left them behind. As for long life, may you live a very long and prosperous life. Okay, everything is okay. <laughs> oh well, it's my fault. You didn't take the right card. There are those moments. Yeah, yeah, I know we are dead. Where everything appears to. Stand still. Suddenly you are falling to the ground. The enchanted the closer. enchanted shaft of the Reaper's right. famous magical right. arrow protruding from your side. You may still flee death. No. Perhaps. An end to your life. And Just give me my tokens. Gnome hunt? Flintlock pistol? Blunderbuss! Nice! And the magnet. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's gonna be it for today we died. <laughs> well being on full health. And tomorrow well, the day after tomorrow we'll try our luck with the temperance. Oh stay alive and see you soon. Bye!